So we got another long run in front of us here, of course. This game is known for making you go on long runs. Okay, do you believe me now that I'm a good marauder? I think they do. We've been accepted as a level 20 marauder now. Already have better stuff than all that. And now we can do level 25 quests. So they want us to come over here.
It's a neat looking area. I like it over here. It's one part in all of Lanosia that looks different. to overpower all these guys. We'll put on our defensive cooldowns. I'm going to try to save my TP here rather than just spam overpower. I'm only going to use it when I need it. There we go. GG. It's the evil warrior. Alright, they're all hitting me, so now I can just focus on damage. Someone familiar. Blah, blah, blah. You... Oh, there's more. Now we gotta be on the same team, I think. Oh, no, we gotta fight him again. Probably worth using Mame on him. Did he use Fracture on me? OMG. Somebody give this guy the memo. We don't mess around with Fracture anymore. Alright, so there we go. We're all done. All the extra stuff. So that's good. So now we can just focus on hammering out the main story quest. 
and having a chance of approaching level 30 today. <clears throat> I mean, one thing we could look at too is our guild has, right? It's I haven't even completed these guild hats yet, and you get a, a first-time completion bonus bonus for doing them, so we should probably queue up and get those done. There's quite a few we can do. It's going to be a nice amount of experience. Alright, so this uh, guild has is very easy. It's just a mini dungeon. There's nothing really to worry too much about this one. You got groups of enemies, you got bigger enemies on their own. It's all simple stuff.
There we go. That was a nice chunk of experience there. Oops. Couldn't get the combination in in time. dance in front of all these people now. It's the only way that they will talk to us. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, I got a new ability here. Thrill of the Battle. So that's a defensive ability. It increases our maximum hit points by 20% and restores the amount increased. So basically, it's like a 20% health heal. So we can use it when things are starting to look bad. And it's on a 2 minute cooldown.
So we won't have many chances to use it now, but... You know, at some point we will. Think he'd attack me? <laughs> Motoring through the gnats. Yeah, they were fucked. They had no chance. We could get a protect, but we don't really need it. Gather everything up, kill it. saying move turtle to patch we can move the turtle later we don't have to do it right now so he's choosing to stand over there and just not help because he knows this level 15 guild test and he knows what to do
feeling a little combative right now. Once we kill the fire sprite, then we go over there. Typical dickhead mentor. Uh, I'll give it to the ninja. <clears throat> People like that annoy the hell out of me. We still need to find a brownie bush, which is over there, I guess. up for the next one. There's quite a few that we can do and they all give a good uh, completion bonus. like fully changed my stance I think or at least right now my current mood after dealing with that guy is like yes the healer is their main job is to heal but there's always an opportunity for you to help with DPS and the idea is to help your group as a whole not just to only do your job and only that if you're a newbie then yes if you're trying to learn Absolutely, I have no problem with it. If you're trying to, you know, you just want to make sure that you have healing down, then I understand. You know, you don't want to potentially miss a heal because you're doing damage or whatever. Like, same thing with tanking. You know, if you're if if the job of tanking is taking up your entire um, mental faculties in order to make sure you can do that job, then fine. I don't care. But if you're a mentor and you are trying to direct a group, and then at the same time you're saying, I don't have to do damage, I'm a healer, weaky face. Like, condescending down to me? Then I disagree. <laughs> 